So guys, I'm gonna break it down in the simplest terms possible for you. Number one, you provide a service. Number two, you sell something. All right guys, side hustle number one. We're gonna start off real basic, something anybody could do. And this is something I did in middle school. Me and my friend, we go around knocking on people's doors whose grass looked a little overgrown and ask them if they needed their grass cut. Most of them, if you're a younger dude, if you're a middle schooler, if you're a high schooler, if they, if they just see you that you're trying to work and you're trying to get some money, even if they already have somebody who cuts the grass or if they have the tools, if they have a weed eater and push mower to cut their own grass, they'll let you do the job for them. For me and my friend, we did this. Uh, we'd have basically a day where we went and we knocked all around the neighborhood. We didn't even have a car or bike. We just walked all across the neighborhood from door to door. And I remember this was actually, we were making legit money. We made $200, $300 in a day and then we split that in half. So we're getting $100, $150 working on our own being little mini entrepreneurs. And I mean, this is how any successful business starts. I mean, it's a very general basic concept but think about how many landscaping companies there are out there that are successful. Number one, if you're willing to be out in the sun, if you have a weed eater, push mower, I'm sure your parents have one, you could get started right away and start getting money on your own. This is live right here. Look at this young hustler right here. A young kid, I'm sure it might be his own house, but look at him, middle schooler kid, getting his grind on right there guys i mean i probably shouldn't be recording them but i mean his face wasn't showing let me flip my camera so you see guys young dude on his grind outside what day is it today it's monday no it's sunday see i mean it's probably his own house but this video is just meant to be recorded like not really people mow their lawns every day but we just say it was meant to be right but all right guys we are on the way to chipotle to actually my first meal of the day All right, guys. First, we can't go in without strapping up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, guys. Now that we got some scenery in the background, we're gonna get into the second side hustle idea. All right, so this is gonna be something that I did once again. So I bought broken items, fixed them up, and resold them. So main concept, buy and resell. Just like any other place, Walmart, they buy from somewhere and then they resell. Everywhere else, they buy in bulk and they resell uh, individually. And that's how, that's basically how business works. So what I did is I started off fixing my phone screen because my screen had cracked, broken, shattered, and I looked up a YouTube video, how to fix a screen. I thought it was fairly simple, or the screen came in a couple of days later. Next thing you know, I was watching, um, I was watching a video guide on how to fix it. It's going step by step, pausing the video. And next thing you know, my, my screen was fixed. And I was like, oh shit, I just fixed my screen. Instead of taking it to Apple or taking it wherever the fuck and getting charged out the ass $100, $150. It cost me like 30, 40 bucks. So most people, when their phone shatters, when their phone breaks, their screens crack, it's just unappealing and the price goes way way down and people are willing to sell it for pennies on the dollars and that's where you could go in and capitalize on that and it's very simple just look it up on youtube this is just an idea that i did with mobile phones and screen repairs and then i did other minor repairs uh that were e easy and doable for myself but yeah guys this applies to anything buy broken items and fix them up and what is going on you guys i'm currently recording from my phone so i hope y'all don't see too much of a difference but now we're going to get into side hustle number three it's sort of the same concept as before what you're going to do is you're going to buy and resell or you might not even have to buy go on offer up craigslist facebook marketplace wherever else you could think of on there they all have a free section people post free shit i don't know if y'all heard the phrase one man's trash is another man's treasure because that ain't nothing but the damn truth. Let me tell y'all something. So I'm just gonna give y'all a quick little story. Uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, I just happened to be browsing and some guy had just posted a treadmill. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, an elliptical. And it was fully functional. I went to go pick it up. It was heavy. I had to load it. He had to help me load it. And I had to have my brother help me unload it at the house. Took some pictures of it. 
or before I took some pictures, cleaned it up, wiped it down. Then I took some pictures, put it up on Craigslist, um, and put it up on Facebook for $280. And guess what? I sold it. I made $280 off of something that somebody else was giving away or they're gonna throw in the trash. Just think about that, guys. There's opportunities everywhere. I made that in a day. I mean, there's not, they're not gonna be posting kinds of all kinds of crazy shit but you could definitely scrape up a good amount of money doing that so man, man i'm giving y'all game man y'all gotta make sure to hit that thumbs up for me because it sure does help out but guys that idea fueled me and gave me more ideas and what i've been doing recently while i haven't been uploading videos i've been running my own business buying and reselling and let me get this in there very very profitable business buying and reselling items mainly sticking with what i know so i'm sticking with the weights i've been and right now is a perfect time weights are sold out so buying cheap weights and reselling them for a higher price after i clean them or look let me give you an example i'm gonna throw a picture up up on the screen of before okay so y'all see that picture up in the screen right now this is the after right here you see i turned shit into something So, I mean, y'all see that that went from a piece of junk that I got for pennies on the dollars, took the time, put a couple hours into it, scrubbed it, wiped it down, painted it, took some pictures, and now it's worth some money, guys. People want that now. But I'm going to go ahead, grab the camera, give y'all a quick look at the inventory. So, reason to have this out, I had some customers coming by to check it out that didn't end up buying it. Um, that hardly ever happens to me, but they were just trying to lowball me. But got other stuff. Keep in mind, I move shit in and out of here on the daily. This is only a little bit. And guys, as you can tell, I'm not just in my house, in my garage. No. Okay, guys, so I'm from a small city called Kyle, a small city. And uh, one thing about this I would have to say, you have to live or be willing to drive to the big city or outskirts where people are posting the good deals at but i mean if you're willing if you're willing to do it then you're willing to do it i got my own storage unit in san antonio now big ass city many opportunities here there's shit ton of people and i have my own storage unit this is a 10 by 25 foot um storage and it's worth it I'm, I'm making money i i can easily afford to get one two more storages but i'm pretty much just a one-man team and i'm already been working a shit ton i want to take focus away from doing this even though it's setting me up that new camera that i was just recording with that i left at home reason why i'm filming with my phone i bought that with my money I, i'm trying to invest into into myself trying to put it back into the channel I'm, i know i'm not 100 percent consistent with the channel but I definitely want to get there or else I wouldn't buy a $1,500 camera. But this is just a time in my life uh, opportunity that I stumbled upon and, and I can't let it go to waste guys because I'm making more money than if I was to be working. $10 an hour job, $15 hour dollar job, $20 an hour job. Um, and I, I work on my own time. I work whenever I want. Keep in mind, I'm making these numbers because I'm putting in work. I'm putting in 12, 14 hour days I've even slacked on working out a little bit, but that just cause my body's so fatigued from driving around everywhere, lifting shit up and scrubbing the weights, scrubbing the bars. This bar used to be filthy. I don't know if this bar used to be filthy. Let it sit in some vinegar, let it sit in some salt, scrub the shit out of it. And I turned a $10 bar that I got over a hundred dollars worth that somebody would be willing to pay for guys. So yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. It feels good to be talking to myself out loud uh, through the camera, but I just pretend like y'all are all there with me, right? All right, guys, so free items are pretty easy, self-explanatory if you get it for free um, and you can clean it up or fix it up or just resell it like that. You're bound to get a little bit of money off of it regardless. But once it comes to buying and reselling, that's whenever you have to be more in a niche that way you could recognize the deals and you have uh, an eye for the deals because that's that's how you make money if 
if you think it's a good deal but it's really not then you're gonna get fucked and you're gonna lose money and you're not gonna sell shit and you're gonna you're gonna be holding shit forever you have to be able to recognize a good deal so guys if you're gonna go ahead and do this i would suggest for you to find a good niche that you guys could develop a solid eye for and see deals where others um possibly can't